the reason why Michael Cohen went to prison for lying and for other felonies was because he was lying for Donald Trump. And it was for the felonies that are at issue here. So he's going to try to attack Michael Cohen, but Cohen will have cooperation. That's key for prosecutors. Cooperation in the form of Stormy Daniels herself, and even perhaps Poe Hicks, a loyalist to Donald Trump, including David Pecker, the head of the former uh, National Enquirer. Uh, also, I think that Trump will try to use the John Edwards effects, which is these payments were not for campaign reasons. They were to protect his family. But that can be easily debunked. You know, he's going to try to say, I was trying to protect Melania from finding out. But Copeland and Stormy Daniels' lawyer first spoke about this affair in 2011. So this was known for years within Team Trump, and yet no money changed hands until two weeks before the election. So that is really damaging. Plus, as far as falsification of business records, why do that if you're just trying to protect the information from Melania? Melania was not likely to pour over the books of the Trump Organization, which is a private company. So I falsify these internal records just to keep it secret from her, unless you knew it was a campaign election crime. Uh, but also, Trump allegedly directed Michael Cohen to delay paying Stormy Daniels until after the election because he didn't want to pay her at all. And after the election, it wouldn't matter. Why? Because Trump knew this was about the campaign. So there are a lot of good facts for the prosecution. And in the end, I think this is headed towards a conviction. Everybody get comfy. We're just getting started. I am Dark Brandon.